Talk to me, brother. I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. Get away from that cabinet. The books stored in there aren't for your eyes to see. My boy, my boy, what have you done? This is a disaster. What do you desire, Brother Gregor?
in a rush to pray? labor at whatever is necessary until about the fourth hour. And from the fourth hour until about the sixth, let them apply themselves to reading. After the sixth hour, having left the table, let them rest on their beds in perfect silence. Or if anyone may perhaps want to read, let him read to himself in such a way as not to disturb anyone else. Let none air be said rather early. sees that his heart is murmuring, and far from gaining a reward for such words Slow as this, down, brother. he will incur the punishment in a wish to pray. Slow down, brother.
Peace be with you, brother. In a rush to pray? Why such haste? Novices, Novices have, have no business, business here. Be here. Go away. Novices aren't allowed here. Watch your step. Watch your step. In a rush. In a rush to pray. Slow down, bro. Slow down. Why such haste? Slow down, brother. Pay more attention, brother. Watch your step, brother. Watch your step, brother. What? Pay more attention, brother. In a rush to pray. Why such... Why such haste? Pay more attention, brother. Why such haste? Saint Benedict, readings on the spirit of silence. Let us do what the prophet says. I said, I will guard my ways, that I may not sin with my tongue. I have set a guard to my... I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. ...and was humbled and kept silence even from good things. Here the prophet shows that if the spirit of silence ought to... Lead what are the roles of the various monks here? Well, the abbot is the head, but he's not here now. Then there's the prior and the sub-prior, the librarian, the porter, and many others. As a novice, you should be particularly mindful of the circators. They're the ones who maintain discipline and punish bad behavior. For it is written, in much speaking, you will not who would you like to be the new abbot? And in another place, Definitely Nevelas. Although he's young and less experienced, his heart and intentions are pure. and teaching belong to the master. The disciples' part is to be silent and to listen. Brother, where were you during Mass? Don't tell me you didn't know that Holy Mass is the foundation on which your life here is built. You're right, brother. This is your second warning. Do it again and you will be punished. You were somewhere you shouldn't have been. Don't you know your place? Don't you know where you're permitted to enter and where your presence is forbidden? Very well, brother. I accept my punishment. Now, show me what you have on you. I must confiscate anything that's not allowed in the monastery.
Praised be to our Lord Jesus. Pay more attention, brother. Why such haste? Pay more attention, Watch brother. Watch your step, brother. Brother, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. I definitely was there. I did come a little late, so perhaps no one noticed me. Brother, save your excuses for someone else. This is your first warning. Don't do it again. What is it, brother? hell and the glory of life everlasting as soon as anything has been ordered by the superior receive it get away from my cabinet the book stood in there out for your eyes to see for the obedience given to superiors is given to god for if the disciple obeys what with an ill will and murmurs, slow down, not necessarily slow down, in his brother. lips, but simply in his heart, then even though he fulfills the command, yet his work will not be acceptable to God, who sees that his heart is murmuring, and far from gaining brother. reward for such work as this, 
Where were you during Mass? Don't tell me you didn't know that Holy Mass is the foundation on which your life here is built. You're right, brother. This is your second warning. Do it again and you will be punished. That is to say, he should show them all that is good and holy by his deeds even more than by his words, expounding the Lord's commandments in words to the intelligent among his disciples, but demonstrating the divine precepts by his actions for those of harder hearts and ruder minds. The abbot should always... Rem Let him not love one Peace be with you, brother. Another, brother. Unless it be one whom he finds better what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. Defenders, but since he has the authority... Yeah, I was feeling a bit queasy. Brother. As soon as they begin to appear. Save your excuses for someone else. Now this is your third warning. And do you know what that well means? A day in solitary confinement. Very well, brother. I accept my punishment. Now, show me what you have on you. I must confiscate anything that's not allowed in the monastery. Watch your step, brother. Slip.
Then watch your step, brother. Watch your step, brother. In a rush to pray? Describe as follows. From Easter until the calends of October. When they come out from prime in the morning, let them labor at whatever is necessary until about the fourth hour. And from the fourth hour until about the sixth, let them apply themselves to read. not to overburden them or drive them away with excessive toil. Their weakness must be taken into consideration by the abbot. Why such haste? Brother, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. You're right, brother. This is your first warning. Don't do it again. Watch your step. Praise be to Christ, brother. I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chests next to it. Today it's your task to concoct two potions to aid digestion. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them.
Talk to me, brother. I finished my work. Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You've found your talent. Soon enough, you'll be teaching the other novices. Why such hate? God be with you. Pay more attention, brother. What is it, brother? I found a few pages of the torn up book, but I still don't have them all. Wonderful. Keep looking, then. I'm sure you can find the rest. Salve Domine. Go down, brother. What would you like? I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you.
Do you call that a copy? You've completely ruined the parchment with your scribbling. In a rush to pray, words to the intelligent among his disciples in a rush but demonstrating pray, the divine precepts by his actions for those in a of rush harder to hearts pray, and ruder minds the abbot should always remember what he is what is it what brother he is called, and should know that to whom more is committed from him more is required let him make no distinction of persons in the monastery let him not love one more than another unless it be one whom he finds better in good works or in obedience, and let him not shut his what eyes to faults of offenders, but since he has the authority, let him cut out those faults by the roots as soon as they begin to appear. Remembering the fate of Heli, the priest of What Sinai, is it, brother? The well disposed in those of good understanding, let him correct with verbal administration. I'm looking for something a little um, unorthodox. Hard, and what would that be exactly? I need to get hold of some kind of weapon. Well, I can't help you with that. And besides, what use would a weapon be in here? I'm looking for lock picks. Lock picks? And what would you like those for? What's it to you? Do you have some or not? Peace, brother. There's no need to get all worked up. So you heard I used to be a burglar, did you? I put it all behind me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lockpicks left. I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lockpicks. Can't say fairer than that, can I? Heart is murmuring. 
Can we do something about the price? Hmm. All right, so? Forget it, then. Readings on the app. Therefore, when anyone receives the name of abbot, he ought to govern his disciples with a twofold teaching. That is to say, he should show them all that is good and holy by his deeds even more than by his words, expounding the Lord's commandments in words to Peace be with you, brother. among his disciples, but demonstrating... Correct with verbal admonition the first and second time. But bold, hard, proud, and disobedient characters, he should curb at the very beginning of their ill doing by strikes and other bodily punishments. I'm telling you, someone's been creeping around the corridor at night. What am I saying? Creeping. Watch your step. Why such haste? Slow down, Why such haste.
Salve Domine. Watch your step, brother. Pay more attention, brother. Why such haste? Why such haste? Watch your step, brother. In a rush to pray. Slow down, brother. Slow down, brother. Slow down, brother. Why such haste? In a rush to pray? Watch your step. Slow down. Why up. such in a rush to pray? Why such haste? In a rush to pray? The rule of Saint Benedict. Readings on the spirit of silence. Let us do what the prophet says. I said, I will guard my ways, that I may not sin with my tongue. I have set a guard to my mouth. I was mute and was humbled and kept silence even from good things. Here. And in another place, death and life are in the power of the tongue. For speaking and teaching belong to the master. The disciple's part is to be silent and to listen. And for that reason, if anything has to be asked of the superior, it should be in asked a rush with to pray. all the humility and submission inspired by reverence. But as for coarse jests and idle words, or words that move to laughter, these we condemn everywhere with a perpetual bow. And for such conversation, we In a wish to pray, a disciple to open his mouth.
No. Clear off. Let me sleep. Uh, are you waking me? Go away. Uh, uh, shit. Sod off. Uh, yeah. Are you waking me? Go away. Uh, yeah. Are you waking me? Go away. Watch your step, brother. Ah, Gregor, talk to me. I'm here to work. Today's tap? Once you finish them. What would you like? I finished my work.
shit. Sort of. Only a new habit can bring that. Waiting pays off. There's no hurry. God be with you. Get away from my cabinet. The book's still in there, aren't they? What is it, brother? I'm here to work. Excellent.
Oh no, such a waste of parchment. How could you? Peace be with you, brother. Pay more attention, brother. Watch your step, brother. Don't even look at that cabinet. It contains forbidden books. Get away from that cabinet. The books stood in there aren't for your eyes to see.
Why such haste? Can't you see we are a mass? In a rush to pray? is necessary until about the fourth hour. And from the fourth hour until Peace about the sixth, you, let them apply themselves to reading. What After would you like? Hour having left the table, let them rest on their beds in perfect silence. Or I have everything we need for the escape. Read, let him read Excellent. Straight out of Vespers, we'll meet in the dormitory. We'll have to get it all done before the monks have finished dinner. What exactly is your plan? And why can't we do it at night? We're going to prepare a little riddle they'll never solve. And why at mealtime? Because we need the dormitory as well as the church to be empty. Then at night we'll escape. Do you follow? Take everything with you and don't forget the keys. Good. Once evening mass ends, I'll be in the dormitory. The rule of Saint Benedict. Readings on daily manual labor. Idleness is the enemy of the soul. Therefore, the brethren should be occupied at certain times in manual labor, and again at fixed hours in sacred reading. To that end, we think that the times for each may be prescribed as follows. From Easter until the calends of October. When they come out from prime in the morning, let them labor at whatever is necessary until about the fourth hour. And from the fourth hour until about the sixth, let them apply themselves to reading. Pay more attention, After brother. the sixth hour having left the table, let them rest on their beds in perfect silence, or if anyone may perhaps want to read, let him read to himself in such a way as not to disturb anyone else. Let none be said rather early at the middle of the eighth hour, and let them again do what work has to be done until vespers. Weak or sickly brethren should be assigned a task or craft of such a nature as to keep them from idleness and at the same time not to overburden them or drive them away with excessive toil. Their weakness Slow down. must be taken into Watch consideration step, by brother. the abbot. What troubles you? Praise be to God! For a moment there I was worried you weren't coming. Give me that blood. This is the exact spot where you pushed me off the gallery.
and here's where you dragged my lifeless body. Slow down, brother. In a rush to... in a rush to pray? Thank you for helping me out. Now we must each go our own way. Well, I can't just let you leave. You're a criminal. What are you on about? Did you really help me escape just to portray me? I'm truly sorry, but you were there at the Neuhoff massacre and you're a valuable witness. I'm taking you to the bailiff. Gregor, you can't be serious. I thought I won't be taken anywhere. I'd rather die than lose my freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Kunda! You're done for, fucker! This is one of the men who raised Neuhoff. He should be able to tell you something useful. But I need to ask a favour. I need you to keep him out of sight so his accomplices don't know he's been caught. Fine work. And I'll do as you say. I'll find a deep, dark hiding place where no one will hear me interrogate him. And while we're at it, I'll have your things brought here. Wait here a while.
Jesus Christ be praised. Baked goods fresh from the oven. Come get them. God be with you. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. Thanks a thousand times. My respects to you.
I'd like to discuss the price. Well, we can try it. Here you are, with a little topper. Thanks a thousand times. Jesus Christ be praised. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. All right, so. Here you are, with a little topper. Well, now, thank you very much. I'd like to uh, order something here. And what is it you'd like? A bit of everything. Heal my wounds, have a proper bath. Oh, and my garments are in need of laundering. As you wish. Do you have the coin? Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. God bless.
do you want here, eh? This is my road. I'll kick your ass out of here. Call that combat. Ah!
Looks like the place they were talking about. Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Kurva! Did you have to sneak up on me like thieves? We are thieves. Besides, we had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business. We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. 
You've got proof. I didn't find anything unusual on him except for a lot of coin. I'd say that's unusual for a monk, wouldn't you? Well, uh... have you got it on you? Yeah. Great. Since that's the money we paid the bastard for a job he didn't do, I'll have it back. Sure. Here you are. Well, I never. Honest to God, Groshen. What are you so glum about? You didn't think I'd let you keep it, did you? Here's your share for the work you did. Not a Groshen more. What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just a crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't know it's the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's a hill above Sasso, and on top there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. I almost forgot. Show this to them. It's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranik. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned. Ah, what's what you're doing? There's people walking here. Come here, you fucker. Enough, I'll punch your gob for Where could he have vanished to? He must be here somewhere. Come on, then. from me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, have mercy on me!
Henry's come to see us. Are you serious? What? Jesus, look where you're going. Be a... What? Are you serious? Be a bit more careful. Be a bit more careful. Jesus! Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just the start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who worked for them, and let him recruit me. Ah, God's holy hat. You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik, near to Sassau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. But then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Pribislavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are, and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. Godspeed, lad.
That could be it. What do you want? Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? I came here for a game. Show me that. Aye. All right. Welcome to Vranik, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house, at the top. That was easy. Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones too. Hey, this isn't good news. Fuck off! It was here just a moment ago. Those tents look How pretty impressive. These fellows aren't paupers, that's for sure. That was you, right? The last time it was the gloves, wasn't it? You forgot you traded them for the fur. And then you went stomping around saying we stole it. You can fuck off, you can. Whatever you say. To be fair, when I, I did learn something new. But it wasn't no, good. Damn, that smells good. Fucking oh, snout out of it. Not ready yet. This must be where the commanders are. What do you want? Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery? Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. 
Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our combat master, Vanyek. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. I swear to God, even my toes are drowning. Then throw the meat in, and the beer comes last. I just want it. Well, my old bar used to throw it all in together. Said it will mix better, and the meat will have better aroma. Aroma, my eye. Are you Combat Master Vanyak? <laughs> Aye, that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out to see how good I am with a sword. Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Kozlik's doing his job. Mind you, most of the peasants he sends me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. Yes, you taught me sword fighting in Scalis. Wait now. Yes, I do remember. You met at the alehouse. Well, I'm glad you made it out alive. I took to my heels before it even started. All right, let's see what you're good for. Have you got a weapon? If not, you can borrow one over there. Now, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, let's see what you're made of. All right, then. Come back when you grow some balls. Shit. To hell with you. Jesus, you got me. You're a lot better than most of the fuckers here, lad. Well done. I've had a bit of practice. So I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you. Don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak has passed it, I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. Oh, that's very generous of you. Well, I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, like this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. I think I've got it. Thanks. Sir, may I... What is it? I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I... What's the matter? Lost your tongue? I think I know what's troubling the young master. He's surprised to see me here. And the feeling's mutual. When did you start recruiting Radzik's people, Eric? Radzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him. 
And I expect he's looking for this? Am I right, young man? You bastard. Ah! He's coming round. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm gonna keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. He told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. Although, how much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzik still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead. I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. <laughs> and I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. <laughs> You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will crush you, and I'll be there to see it. I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realise that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now... With the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. Ah! Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. When he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ah. Have you never heard of Lord Sockle of Lamberg or Sir Henek, the Dry Devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. Ah. And war is a nasty business. Sir, it's time. Now... I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. And let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! <laughs> Knock some manners into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. Henry, wake up. Can you hear me? Jesus, that brute really works. You over. Here. Try to drink. I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? 
It's Bishak. You fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing happened. Shh, shh. Be quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of your life. So do you want my help or not? What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen, and that's all you need to worry about. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. But this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. Why don't you go on your own? What would I do? I've been left alone in this world and I'm an outlaw. How long do you think it'll take before I'm swinging from a gibbet? I need to get some coin and get the hell out of here. How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang you. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. What about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you in. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. All right, then. Let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzig I helped you. And that you'll pay me, too. You have my word. What's the plan? All right. I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen. I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp, on the slope above Sassau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft land. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. So that's all? Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you. Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you. So we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out... Go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck. What's going on there?
Mother of God. Hey. Well, now, look what's come crawling out from under some rock. No. Uh. 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 Is that all you've got? Now you're fucked. You're gonna cry? Don't die for that. Hey! Well, I never... What's going on there? Mother of God! What? Mother of God! Who are you? What? What have we got here? Entertainment? <laughs> Great. Where could he have vanished to be? He has gone. Had enough.
Who's there? Is that the best you can do? Don't run, Dalai. Well now, look what's come crawling out from under some rock. Is that all you've got?
You're dead! Bring it on! <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Is that all you've got? <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Hey! Who's that? Heads of ten! I'll slaughter you! You call that combat? I'll slay you for that. The answer to my prayers, just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. What's the matter? Come on! Well, I never. The pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. Well, I never. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'll slaughter you. What's the matter? Come on.
Well, I know. The pig turns up willingly.
that's that. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Who's there? What's going on there? The answer to my prayers. Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. You get what for? What's the matter? Come on! <sighs> You'll pay for that. Bring it on!
Well, I never. The pig turns up willingly for... What's that? We won't be checking on it. Anyway, if you move over there a bit, we'll still be able to watch this pile of shit just as well. Even better, if you don't be doubled over for you, sir. We'll see you fuck all in the dark. Who gives that fuck? Come on.
So, we're out. Now it's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. Don't worry, I keep my word. But I have to go to Ratai and see my... my father. They took my coin when they captured me. Fine. We should get out of here as quick as we can anyway. Well, you'll have to help me. Somehow the massage I got from that big bastard didn't do me a lot of good. I don't suppose you have a horse hidden around here. A horse? <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. Any word about your boy, Radzi? Nothing yet. Well, let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me, given the balls that he has. Now, I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Hanush. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow... Henry! Father? <laughs> I told you he had balls. Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. It looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranjik. But now I know what they're planning. What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly. And you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rabble of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Divish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry. I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranjik tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. What is it, Henry? Is there something else? The thing is, we have to deal with Zbyshek. I see. And who is he? 
Zbyshek is from Skalitz. He helped me escape captivity and saved my life. I promised him a reward for it. Indeed. Well, Zbyshek, if you saved my son's life, I'm grateful to you. As a token of my gratitude, please accept this reward. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your generosity. And under the circumstances, we won't ask how you came to be with that herd of swine at Vranik. So you'd better get out of here quick before I start thinking about it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, my lords. Thanks, Henry. God be with you. Get a good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armour, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. But now we have more urgent matters to deal with. Hmm? Later we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son. Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Talmberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the Stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. Henry, God save you, glad you came. Sir, I lost all my things at Vranik, and I need some combat gear. Yes, lad, I know. Here's the key to the armory. Take whatever you need. You deserve it. Listen up, men. Hey! It's going to be a long night, and no easy... Hey! Thinking. Look out! I want every hmm. last one of you standing oh, here in full armor and ready for action by sunset. Hey, you! Halt! When I find him... Surrender! You've committed a violation. You're under arrest. I'm telling you, surrender! You were seen thieving. This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. Hmm. This is sure. What of it? 
I can't pay that. Well, it's a jail cell for you, then. You! Stop right where you are! Ah! Ah! Will we spilt? Mother of God! Yeah! Is that all you've got? You're dead. Who the fuck uh. killed him? Oh no! Oh my god, no! A corpse! When I find him... You'll get what for.
Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might... Sir, I... Listen up, men. It's going to be a long night. I know he's taking it. What, what the hell are you doing? Standing here in full armor and ready for God be with you, Henry. Are you serious? What are you playing at with that weapon? What are you playing at with that weapon? Jesus, look where you're going. Be a bit more careful. Welcome, Henry.
bread, fresh hey, bread, you bread, surrender. rolls, Move buns and pretzels for you. You're under arrest. Hey, you, stop. you, stop right Hold. where you are. You there, stop. Jesus Christ, you killed someone, you murdering fucker. If it was up to me, I'd send you straight to the chopping block. You're lucky the law will only let me throw you in jail. What's going on there? What's that? Who's there? Look, I'll tell Do you th Don't move a finger. Surrender. You've committed a crime and I'm arresting you. Help! Help! Someone's been killed! My God, God! Quick! There's a corpse there! There's a corpse! Shit! 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 Come here, quick! Alarm! There's a corpse there! Here! Hide from me. You're gonna cry now. My God, God, quick! There's a corpse there. I'm over. You win. Over there, my God. Corpse there. Damn, did that hurt? Watch out! Don't wake up the murder. Mother of God. Awake already? Listen up, men. It's going to be a long night, and no easy pickings. I want every last one of you to stay.